Good day mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved. I am here at my special place, my little garden in there. And I saw a squirrel walking around in there. There it is. Hello. And the bird. Oh, it's so cute. Man. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful creation. And the bird is there as well. Oh, beautiful. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father God. We praise the Lord and we glorify you, oh God. You are worthy of glory and honor and praise, Father. You're so, so good, Lord. You're so awesome. You're so wonderful. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you. We magnify you, Lord. We glorify you, Father. And that's the school reminds me when I was teaching. And <laughs> hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Yes, Lord, you are the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. Come, I'm going to show you something which I um, plucked some leaves somewhere here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, that you are in our midst right now. Father God, that thank you, Lord, that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper and everything because, Lord, we are protected, so it won't prosper. <laughs> I am protected and covered with your precious blood, Lord. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Who has an ear? Amen. Let's hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Yes, God. Thank you, Father. This is the leaves. See? This is the leaves which I plucked sometimes. Oh, look at this beautiful butterfly. Earlier on, I saw squirrel. Now it's butterfly. Beautiful. This is the leaves. These are the leaves that I plucked to make a um, kakanin, <laughs> which I actually uh, make with my sister-in-law and I. Hallelujah. Let I show you. And thank you, Father, for this wonderful time. Yes, indeed, Lord. You are the first and the last, the beginning and the end the Alpha and the Omega. He was the first. Oh, yes, Lord. He was the last. Hallelujah. He was dead, but he came to life. Yes, Lord. You are alive forevermore. He knows our works. Amen. Let's be in faithful. Hallelujah. He knows our poverty. We should endure. Yes, God. We should endure. He knows our tribulation, we should not fear, for no servant is greater than his master. Yes, Lord, no servant is greater than his master. He who has an ear, amen. Let him hear, hallelujah. He who has an ear, oh yes, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches, amen. And he who overcomes with eternal life, oh yes. And he who is faithful receives the crown of life. Yes, Father, as we are faithful to you, Lord, yes, we will receive the crown of life, the crown of rejoicing, the incorruptible crown, the crown of glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful pink flower and the hardship leaves as well. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, it's beautiful hardship green leaves. Thank you, God. And he who is faithful receives the crown of life. And these are morning glories in here. These are morning glory. Beautiful, it's purple in color. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. <laughs> Glorifying God, isn't it? Oh, so cute. All right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, that we are so blessed, Lord. Thank you that as we who dwell in a secret place of the Most High, we shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We shall say of the Lord, He is our refuge and our fortress. Our God in Him we will trust. Surely, He shall deliver us from the snare of the fowl and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover us with His feathers and under His wings we shall take refuge. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father that a thousand may fall at our side and ten thousand at the right hand but it shall not come near us only with our eyes shall we look and see the reward of the wicked hallelujah 
and all these things that because they have set their love upon me therefore I will deliver them I will set them on high because they have known my name they shall call upon me and I will answer them I will be with them in trouble I will deliver them and honor them with long life I will satisfy them and show them my salvation Amen and Amen Thank you Father Oh we praise you Lord we glorify your Father we magnify you Lord and that's our black house number it's just so nearby in here God thank you Hallelujah Come on, Mahal. let's continue on reading God's word now in the book of uh, Job and I want to show you something which is very fascinating and so and a miracle as well well remember I show you the leaves in there that's my grandmother used to pluck some kind of leaves there and this is the 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 wrapping this is the wrapping that's that i did you see that there it is see this kakanin <laughs> it's rough up this one this is made of like uh coconut flesh this one and coconut milk as well and rice you know the rice kind of like um a rice uh, uh flour <laughs> we call it rice flour instead of the flour itself and uh, look at that i want to show you something hallelujah thank you father and uh, this is how it looks like and it is really yummy look at that <laughs> so nice isn't it see oh this is absolutely yummy and when we were little we like it so much and this one is also another one this is uh, um, we call it good huya and it is actually made as well of banana and flour and, uh, and uh, rice flour as well um, Thank you father for this wonderful time and then I'm going to have picnic here and this is my coconut water with my two teas here and uh, it is a miracle because I was thinking Lord I can't be just plugging that leaves in there because it might, might be planted by the uncle government and so I am afraid that uh, the uncle will ask me why I'm picking up but actually according to them as well it's not that planted it is growing in the wild there and so I can pluck it there as the uncle says as well but as I was walking I found this one see someone threw this out and then I went to get a bag and put it in here and I'm going to put it there in my little garden with my sweet potatoes so that when I make again this these delicacies when I make again this one I have these leaves already so I have nothing to worry about I don't have to pluck from there anymore but when the time comes it will grow up from this one and so thank you for that and I want to plant it there oh hallelujah God you provide it's a miracle and even little things you provide and that's how much that's how much you love me God, thank you. <laughs> All right, Mama Mahal. Come, let's carry on reading God's word now in the book of Job, chapter. Where are we now? Eight and nine yesterday. And so today, today we will be reading chapter 10. Yes. Again, Father God, as we read your word, help us to understand. Give us, Lord, the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of you, Father, as we continue to read your word. In Jesus' mighty name, the name above all names we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father. And see it here. This is here that the man who plants and the man who waters have uh, one purpose. Each and each will be rewarded according to his own labor. Wow, thank you, God. Amen. And it says here that, let, be great. let me be great in the eyes of the Lord, for that is the richest, most priceless reward. Amen. Thank you, Father. And uh, this is the day to be enthusiastic about the success of others, but I still help others to succeed. Amen. Help me to do that, Father. Thank you hallelujah and it says here also that jesus said this is in this one is in first corinthians chapter 3 verse 8 earlier on that we read and now this is in john chapter 4 uh, 11 verses uh, 4 to 6 it says here that jesus said this sickness will not end in death no it is for god's glory so that god's son may be glorified through it Jesus loved Martha 
and her sister and Lazarus. Yet, when he heard that Lazarus was sick, he stayed where he was two more days. Wow, that's God, how God loves his friends and <laughs> oh, hallelujah, he loves his people. When God waits, there is always a good reason. Amen. Thank you, Father. And it is also here that in Habakkuk chapter 3, verse the, verses 17 and 18, Through the fig tree does not bud, and there are no uh, grapes on the vines. Through the olive crops fails, and the fields produce no food. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God, my Savior. Amen. Thank you, Father. And it says here also another one. It's May 11. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 22 says that take on an entire new way of life, a God-fashioned life, a life renewed from inside and working itself into your conduct as God accurately produces His character in you. Amen. Thank you, Father. Help me. <laughs> oh, yes. Come, let's carry on reading. God's word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Discover here. This is a very good banana. I remember my grandparents on this banana as well. Oh, yes. Thank you, Father. And come, let's carry on reading. Um, Job chapter uh, 10. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And um, the response... Oh, oh, what? I, is it is it really chapter <laughs> 10 now <laughs> oh yes yes it is thank you father okay jesus precious holy spirit come let's do it together thank you lord job job frames his plea to god i am disgusted with my life let me complain freely my bitter soul must complain I will say to God, don't simply condemn me. Tell me the charge you are bringing against me. What do you gain by opposing me? Why do you reject me? The work of your own hands while smiling at the schemes of the wicked? Are you, are your eyes like those of a human? Do you see things only as people see them? Is your lifetime only as long as ours? Is your life so short? Sorry about that. Where am I? <laughs> All right. Is your life, is your lifetime only as long as ours? Is your life so short that you must quickly prove for my guilt and search for my sin? Although you know I am not guilty, no one can rescue me from the hands. You formed me with your hands, you made me, yet now you completely destroy me. Remember that you made me from dust. Will, will you turn me back to dust, Susan? You guided my conception and formed me in the womb. You clothed me with skin and flesh, and you knit my bones and, and sinews together. You give me life and showed me your unfailing love. My life was preserved by your care, yet your real motive, your true intent, um, was to watch me. And I, and if I sinned, you would not forgive my guilt. If my guilt, if I am guilty, too bad for me. And even if I'm innocent. I can't hold my head high because I am filled with shame and misery. And if I hold my head high and hunt me like a lion and display your awesome power against me, again and again, your witness against me, you pour, you pour out your growing anger on me and bring flesh armies against me. Why then did you deliver me from my mother's womb? Why didn't you let me die at a birth? It would be as though I had never existed, going directly from the womb of the grave. I have only a few days left to leave me alone. So leave me alone, that I may have a moment of comfort before I leave, never to return. And uh, for the land of darkness and utter gloom. It is a land as dark as midnight, a land of gloom and confusion, where even the light is dark as midnight. 
chapter 11 Sophar's first response to Job Then Sophar the Ma'ahites replied to Job Shouldn't someone answer this torrent of words is a person proved innocent just as by just by a lot of talking should I remain silent while you babble on then you mock then you hallelujah then you mock God shouldn't someone make you ashamed you claim my belief are pure and I am clean in the sight of God if only you if only if only God would speak if only he would tell you what he thinks if only he would tell you the secrets of wisdom of for for true wisdom is not simple matter listen god is doubtless punishing the far less than you deserve can you can can you solve the misery of god hallelujah thank you father again let's continue on reading can you hallelujah it's a service can you solve the mysteries of god can you discover everything about the almighty such knowledge is higher than the heavens and who are you it is deeper than the underworld that you know uh, it is broader than broader than the earth and wider than the sea if god comes and puts a person in prison or calls the court to order you can stop him for he knows uh, those who are false and he takes note of all their sins an empty-headed person won't become wise any more than a wild donkey can bear a human uh, child if only you would prepare your heart and lift up your hands to to him in prayer get rid of your sins and leave all iniquity behind you then your face will brighten with innocence and you will be strong and free of fear you will forget your misery it will be like water flowing away your life will be brighter than the noonday even darkness will be as bright as morning having hope will give you courage you will be protected and will rest in safety. You will lie down unafraid and many will look to you for help. But the wicked will be blind blinded and they will have no escape. Their only hope is death. Father God, thank you Lord for your word again that we have hope in you Father God Lord as we come to you in prayer as we come to you in worship hallelujah and tomorrow we will continue on reading chapter 12 Job's first speech a response to so far Father God thank you Lord that I can understand Job because <laughs> we are all human that sometimes we ask God as to why hallelujah even myself did that Lord if I only I would have been born but then God has a purpose and it is so painful sometimes it's happening sometimes unf un unfair things happen to our lives but God is not unfair <laughs> and he loves us and he knows our hearts and he see what what have what we are going through and so father God thank you Lord for this time and opportunity for me to be able to read God's word here in this wonderful place and thank you Lord Jesus for this nice yummy food which I remembered my grandmother <laughs> Uh, make for us and it is a mother's day and uh, I remember my grandmother and my mother I love them so very much Lord thank you for their lives and uh, with their love that make me uh, I was uh, Lord Jesus oh God thank you that I was uh, grounded with their love and so I am able to stand against anything <laughs> thank you Lord I am secure especially I'm secure in the Lord and my fellow God's beloved if you want to be loved and secure in the Lord also even because my grandma and mother is in heaven now even if they are not around I am still loved because I know Jesus is with me and so my fellow God's beloved if you receive the Lord and uh, as your Christ and Savior, then you will be secure and have eternal life in heaven. Amen. Come, let's receive the Lord. Lord Jesus, I need you. 
Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. I open the door of my life and receive you as my Savior and Lord. I repent of my sin. Thank you for the forgiveness of my sin, for giving me eternal life. Make me the kind of person you want me to be. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Father. My fellow God's beloved, if you have prayed that prayer, Christ came into your life. Your sins are forgiven. You are forgiven. You became a child of God. You receive eternal life. You began a great adventure for which God created you. Amen. Amen. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, mga mahal, for the